This is Stefan from the My Data Merge team, and today I'm going to show you how to use the automator feature in My Data Merge to post process already merged files after the process. I have prepared uh, a setup over here. I want to export 50 data records for example and demonstration purposes. Um, I have selected a PDF as file types, one document for all records, which will result in one PDF with 50 pages and I decided to keep the InDesign document too. So that will result in totally two documents, one InDesign file and one PDF file. Then I want to trigger an automated workflow after the documents have been generated. And this is a pretty simple one. I want to move all finder items handed to the workflow in the PDF folder and the PDF folder is located right over here in my results folder. This is a pretty simple example of using automated workflows. Imagine there's tons and tons and tons of automated actions and workflows out there you can download or freely build yourself like loading up generated files to an FTP or SFTP server, sending emails with it and lots of things more. So how do I choose the move file to PDF workflow in my data merge? Head over to the extras section, choose automator and then just follow the instructions. Start again, copy the workflow to a folder where my data merge has access to it. Then select the workflow, move file to PDF folder choose it and configure input and variables. The input is automatically configured over here. As you can see, editing is not allowed because my data merge will automatically send the file path of the generated documents to this workflow as input. Variables will be taken care of in another video and we do not use them over here. Then let's check how it works. Check data and export, choose the results folder, imagine, Let's see, I do not choose the PDF folder, I choose the result folder. Choose it, open the log file that we can see a little bit better what's happening. Data merge is running, data merge complete, PDF creation. And now the automator workflow did run and moved the PDF file inside of the PDF folder. So we have the InDesign document over here, and we have the PDF document over here. Some of you might wonder why the InDesign document is not sent to the workflow too. Well, we can choose that. In the automated workflow section over here, we have a setting in this gear icon. We have some settings and we can choose which files to send to the automated workflow. And this part will change whenever you change the file type in the export section. So imagine I'll choose JPEG and keep InDesign. So I have two file types, JPEG and InDesign you will have the according settings over here. If I choose to remove the keep in design, I will only find the JPEG over here. Imagine what you can do with your documents after they have been generated. Move them to your network, load them up, send emails and whatever you can imagine. Follow us on YouTube, try, try it yourself by downloading my data merge on mydatamerge.com. That's it for now, thank you very much.